Richie, it's no secret that you've got to love flying. We're down in Wanaka, beautiful day here for the air show. Mate, uh, one positive about being injured and not being in South Africa with the boys is uh, blue sky like this, you know. But helicopters, mate, this is a new gig. Yeah, it is new, and we're sitting in the one that uh, I've actually been learning in. Obviously got my aeroplane licence and gliders, but I uh, thought might as well hook the old helicopter on, onto the end of it, especially being injured, you know, a wee, well, wee bit of time to do that. It's a good challenge to, you know, the things that you've got to be careful with, you know. You've got to respect helicopters, I, I find, but they're good fun, you know. Landed on uh, back lawn of mum and dad's the other day to have, uh, have lunch, which was pretty cool. Now, mate, you've had a bit of time off. How's the body feeling? Pretty good actually, um, done a fair bit of training, had a couple of little pins taken on my foot last Monday and it's feeling a lot better after that so uh, once the wound heals I'll be pretty much hopefully, well the plan is to get back into, work my way back into full training and and then you know once I get fit enough start thinking about asking the coach for a game. But uh, it's been good, I've, it's nice having some Saturdays just uh, without getting bashed up so, yeah. but I must say in the last few weeks uh, watching the guys play really looking forward to getting back and you know when you're feeling like that uh, you're ready to go. It was a pretty uh, full-on and an emotional and taxing year last year. How, how's your state of mind? Um, if you'd asked me probably a month ago I'd say yeah, yeah I'm alright but I think now like as I said before I'm really looking forward to playing again. I probably wasn't ready to, to get going and um, you try and convince yourself of that, but now I know I, I'm, I can't wait to get back in the field. You know, watching the guys have the fun of putting the boots on and getting out there. I think I'm just sick of training too, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. um, but no, really looking forward to getting on the track. And it's all very well talking about it. You want to be able to put it into action. And after winning the World Cup, I mean, it was a huge weight on your shoulders individually. Do you feel that that's lifted, or you're you're sort of free now? <laughs> Well, there was a way to, I think just my own personal point of view, it had been through two uh, mishaps at World Cups and I didn't want to be have, a go, have to think about a fourth one, you know, where, so I really wanted to make sure I did it right and and um, to tick that box is cool but, uh, you know, everyone else moves on and, and, you know, there's a new year, new team and I don't know, it didn't feel like a big weight but it is a relief I suppose. What's, what's left for you, like what do you really want out of... Uh out of the rest of your career moving forward? Because, I mean, you're a machine, but you're also a veteran. <laughs> I don't like being called a veteran <laughs> just yet, but I think uh, you've got to reassess what uh, what gets you up and going and wanting to play, and I still feel like I can play better, you know, and that, that, if, you've, if you thought you can play any better, that'd be time to move on. So I, I really want to see the, well, the Crusaders do well for starters, you know, like we haven't won the competition for a while and we got close last year, so that's a real driver. And uh, I want to see the All Blacks, yeah, we won the World Cup and you call yourself world champs, but you want to play like that and, and stay there. And um, yeah, I, I just love, love that challenge of going out and, and meeting all the other rest of the top teams around the world. I think as you get towards my age and stage of the career, you know it's not going to be around for much longer, so you really want to make the most of it. And perhaps the last four years, I it was that intense to enjoy. I, I enjoyed it, but it, I didn't perhaps understand what you're doing. I want to make sure, without changing anything, your standards, if not be better, uh, really make sure I enjoy the however long I got left. Well, Richie, thanks very much, mate. It's been uh, good to catch up with you, and thanks for um, letting us see your mate. chopper. Mate, and probably I've got about four or five hours to go and then I could have taken you for a ride. You're probably quite happy that I haven't got it, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got, uh, my old man might have to be the first one to go for a ride. Even he's a bit sort of, oh, what I know. <laughs> a bit scared. <laughs> Something nah. about choppers, eh?